Hello everyone, my name is Hitashi Garg and in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate assets for your web using Photoshop CC. That means you have already created your design in Photoshop and now you want to port it to the web. Obviously, you need to slice out your PSD so that you can convert it to JPEG, PNG and GIF and then you want to port it to your web. But now no more slicing required because of Photoshop CC, you can do it in just few clicks. Now let me show you how exactly the asset generator feature in Photoshop CC works. So let's open the PSD in Photoshop and use the image asset feature of Photoshop CC. Before we go ahead and use it, we need to enable it. So how we can enable it, we can go to file section, generate image assets. And that's it. We are ready to generate assets. So for example, I want to generate a banner, this banner out of this design. What I can do, I can just look for the layer. So this is the layer of my banner and I can simply rename this layer with the extension I'm looking for. So for example, I want to generate a JPEG. I'll just rename this layer to JPEG and that's it. Now you can see that a new folder has been created at the same place where our PSD is. So I can just go to the folder and here is our image. So that means you don't have to slice out anything more on your PSD. The only thing you need to do, you just rename the layer, put the extension you are looking for and you'll get the image asset. Now for example, I want it as a PNG as well. So I can put comma and specify PNG extension as well. Now you can see that we have JPEG, hero.jpeg and we have hero.png. Similarly, now you can specify the uh, the quality of your JPEG. For example, you want a medium quality. So you can simply either specify 70% or you can rate your JPEG from 1 to 7. So for example, I just want a medium uh, quality for my JPEG. I can specify 5, press enter and it gives me a JPEG with quality 5. Now you can see that it's not that clear. So let's see the size which is around 37 KB. Now you want your JPEG maybe a bit better than the medium. So for example, I want 70% of the quality of this JPEG. I just hit enter, go back here. And now you can see that we have a JPEG with better quality than medium. So it's 61 kilobits. You can see that. Now let's go back in here. Similarly, you can do with PNG. You can specify uh, what uh, quality of PNG you want. You want a 32 bit, 64, sorry, 32 bit, uh, 24 bit or 16 bit or 8 bit. You can specify here. By default, it takes 32 bit. Similarly for JPEG, it takes quality 10 for J, uh, for JPEG by default. Now, what else you can do? You can do a lot many other things. For example, I want this PNG should be 200% in size than the actual size. I just specify 200%. I hit enter. It takes few seconds because it's generating the bigger image. And here we are. The image should appear. Now this is the image which is quite bigger than the actual image. Similarly, you can specify as many things you want to specify and you can specify aspect ratio of your layer. For example, I want 800 into 800 pixels. I just press 800 into 800 but obviously our aspect ratio will be little unacceptable but I just wanted to show you how you can specify the pixel ratio to generate your assets. That's not the only thing. You generate assets real time using Photoshop CC. So let me show you. Let's keep these two windows open together right here and what I'm going to do, let's zoom in a bit. I'll just play with these icons right so this is the like cycling icon i want to generate so i can go to my layer again which is this one go to join a club and here we have the cycling layer now i want to generate this cycling icon so i can specify dot png and this is what we have the png is then and there now what i want to do i just don't like the gray circle here right what I want to do, I want to change it to some other color. So what, what we need to do, select the layer, let's lock the transparency and let me show you how quick and how accurate it is. I'll just go, go ahead and select a brush. Let's choose color maybe red and I'll just go ahead and fill it. Not, I'm not filling it completely 
I'll just go ahead and fill it right it is not generating you know what the reason why it's not generating we haven't renamed it so let's rename it to dot PNG and now we have the image now you can see that we have the image I can generate I can put the color uh, I can put the color real time for example I want this a yellow color I can simply go ahead and put yellow on it and now you can see that how quickly it generate the asset for you so guys this is uh, Adobe Photoshop CC with image asset feature in there start using it no more slicing required we just use Photoshop CC go to creative.adobe.com download your copy of Photoshop CC and start generating assets for your web thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos